The Extreme is an ultra-fine bypass oil filter that can be installed on any engine, transmission, or hydraulic oil system. On your own personal vehicle, your OEM full flow filter stays in place, but the Extreme will now be doing all the heavy cleaning. The Extreme is an additional system that fine filters and is mounted on or near the engine. It utilizes just two lines, a pressure hose and a return hose, which must be attached to the engine. Some professional mechanical skills, tools, and know-how are required but once installed, the Extreme oil filter is practically carefree and keeps oil technically cleaner than new oil. That means regardless of the color of the oil, it will have fewer and smaller abrasive particles than new oil. The results are engine life can be radically extended and scheduled oil changes eliminated, saving both time and money. There are three basic steps before installing the Extreme. First, find the pressure port. Second, determine the return port location. Third, determine filter mounting location. Finally, Install the fittings, mount the filter, and attach the hoses. First, the pressure port or source is located. On many engines, there is no dedicated oil pressure supply port. In these cases, the next best method is to find the oil pressure sensor. The sensor is removed and a T-fitting is installed in its place. The oil pressure sensor is then reinstalled on one arm of the T-fitting, and the pressure supply hose to the extreme bypass oil filter is installed on the other arm. It's easier, though, if the engine has a dedicated pressure port. Most diesel engines usually have a dedicated pressure port, and some gasoline engines do also, but that is less common. Housing. Typically found on the stock oil filter housing, the port plug is removed and an adapter fitting is needed to adapt the right port threading there. to the hose fitting. The port is usually a metric or standard national pipe thread size, and the hose side is usually standard hose size known as 3 8 GAIC. Second, the return port location is determined. Most engines do not have a dedicated return port. Often a fitting is carefully installed into the valve cover or an oil filler neck, for example, so that the oil can safely drain back to the oil pan. Care must be taken to avoid using parts that can fall into the engine and also avoid connections that can be easily damaged, causing an oil leak. The return fitting should be soldered or welded in place if possible so as to not come apart or leak easily, and care must be taken that the fitting does not get in the way of moving engine parts. This will probably be the hardest part of the installation. However, there may be an easier alternative. If a custom oil filler cap with a return port that fits the engine is available and can be found, that greatly simplifies the installation process. In that case, simply remove the stock oil filler cap, install the ported cap, and the return hose can be easily connected. Third, once a pressure and return port are determined, the bypass filter can be mounted, preferably in a location near the two ports used to connect the filter. In some cases, the filter can be mounted on the engine itself, sometimes nearby in the engine bay, but often on the vehicle frame, using the universal bracket and hardware that come with the filter. Custom brackets can sometimes be found or fabricated by those with the know-how for even better mounting locations. Mounting the filter bracket usually requires drilling one or two holes. Be sure to drill carefully so as not to damage anything important. Finally, the hose runs are measured, hose created in the correct lengths, and then attached. The pressure hose goes to the in port on the extreme oil filter housing, and the hose from the out port should go to the return port location. The hoses should be routed to avoid sharp edges, hot surfaces, and moving hazards. A corrugated, braided, or other hose cover can be used for extra protection against hazards. Zip ties can also be used to keep the hoses in place. The size of the extreme oil filter to be used is determined by the size of the engine, or more specifically, the capacity of the oil pan. Eight quarts or less of oil capacity should use the smaller extreme filter called the One World. 8 to 16 quarts of oil capacity should use the regular or extreme X filter. Even larger sizes are available for heavy equipment and semi trucks as well. Be sure to watch an extreme oil filter installation preparation video for more tips and know how on installing the extreme.